core i i7 dash 6700 with i5 dash 6400 the one basic thing you need to need to know is the hyper threading the i7 processors have i hyper threading enabled and i5 processor do not have the hyper threading enabled both of them have four cores so in between these two this hyper threading makes a difference of like 15 percent so you expect for the same clock frequency you can expect 15 percent performance improvement it's a ballpark number roughly has been uh, seen at different benchmarks um, when the hyper threading is enabled so that's one thing but there are other things that make i7 faster and one of the key difference is the, of course the Mm, clock frequencies the base and the hyper threading clock frequencies and we see that the base clock frequency is also significantly higher in i7 2.7 gigahertz versus 3.4 gigahertz and the turbo clock frequency of 3.3 gigahertz versus 4 gigahertz there's one other thing that makes uh, i7 faster and that has to do with the cache memory of 6 mb versus 8 mb so in between these three things, uh, you see i7-6700 mm, becoming significantly faster than i5-6400, but it comes at the same time at a premium of uh, $187 versus $312, 70% more expensive. So, uh, other than that if you look at the integrated graphics that also is somewhat faster 20 15 to 20 percent faster in case of uh, i7-6700 though they have the same intel hd graphics 530 the skylac processors have for the first time started coming out with um, ddr4 memory and its performance is the, about the same at the peak ddr3 as DDR4 just started coming out so we don't expect the performance to be significantly better but it works at 1.2 volt and therefore we expect some power saving although not very uh, very critical thing for desktop processors we'll look at the benchmark score to actually see where we stand the i5-6400 has a benchmark score of 6686 and i7-6700 has a score close to 10,000 making it about 35% faster and that's what we expected from the, all the analysis we saw out of which 15% comes from the hyper threading another 15% from the uh, from the clock frequency and maybe 5% or 2 3 to 5 percent from uh, the cache memory so if you can afford and if you need um, the i7-6700 is obviously a better processor but if your aim is mainly the gaming and that's not cpu in intensive often and in that case the i5-6400 would be a more economical choice and you can invest the money you save like around thirty dollars into the graphics card i hope this uh, comparison helps you in making an informed choice thanks for taking a look